Uh, revolutionary greetings, comrades. A few days ago, uh, six or seven bodies of sex workers were discovered in some factory or building in Johannesburg. A 20 year old has since been arrested, but we believe that he is charged for one murder, even though about six or seven bodies were discovered. Uh, we extend our condolences to the families and a call on the government and the authorities to protect sex workers in our cities, many of whom are women. But of course, there are also male uh, sex workers. We will discuss them in this video. I am Mabuto Nicholas Mabena. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel. And please circulate and share your views. One comrade of mine, I think it was uh, on Tuesday, uh, she sent me a message saying, Comrade Mapena, when are you talking about sex workers? Because uh, your party, the Zimbabwe Communist Party, represents the workers. I said, Comrade, will you have a discussion on Friday the 14th? Uh, but I could tell by her reaction that uh, she was not really pleased because uh, she thought uh, we were taking long to talk about sex workers. Um, uh, but well, uh, uh, I understood to her, uh, uh, but uh, let's, let's engage on this question. We have, uh, in the modern days, uh, 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 substituted the word prostitution. Uh, normally, uh, 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 sex workers are called prostitutes. Even Karl Marx and Frederick Engels, when they were writing, they used the term prostitutes. Uh, but as communists, uh, modern communists, trade unionists, we now normally use the word sex workers. So that uh, as workers, they should get the same uh, protection uh, uh, as other workers and be organized like the same workers. So it's, it's we are evolving. But the Karl Marx and, and Frederick Engels, when they wrote, they, they, they uh, uh, used the term prostitutes. Uh, uh, and uh, when they were just having this discussion about uh, the prostitutes, they called the lumpen proletariat. I know my comrade, Comrade Butelo Zanyati, will say, Comrade Mabena, you always use big words. These, these are not big words, Comrade Butele uh, These are Marxist terms that, uh, that uh, we use, but you will know that uh, when we talk of the lumpen proletariat, uh, we are talking of the unorganized and unpoliticized the lower uh, uh, orders of society who are not interested in revolutionary activity. Uh, and and uh, most of this uh, lumpen proletariat, <clears throat> uh, they are available to be used by reactionary forces. These are your thieves, your criminals, your pickpockets, uh, 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 prostitutes. Uh, like I'm saying now, we call them sex workers, but they are available to be used by uh, the reactionary forces. They do not participate in revolutionary work or participate in revolutionary activity. Uh, but, but as I'm saying that uh, uh, work is underway uh, to organize sex workers uh, into their own union, into their own organization, precisely to protect them, to avoid what happened uh, in central Johannesburg where uh, some sex workers were met that their bodies found uh, in a building. There are also diseases uh, in this profession or trade. So when, when you get them organized, uh, they are able to talk about their own experiences and uh, to ensure that uh, uh, they practice safe sex so that uh, we reduce the transmission of sexual trans uh, we reduce sexual transmitted diseases uh, uh, so as i'm saying that uh, 
we define from a Marxist perspective uh, uh, sex workers, uh, uh, your gamblers, uh, which of course Karl Marx used the term prostitutes, your gamblers, your thieves, your pickpockets, as, as a, a, a lumpen proletariat. But, but we, we must not, comrades, uh, that uh, we are not in the early stage of socialism to start with. We are under capitalism. And, uh, and uh, sex workers are a product of a capitalist society. Or, or sex workers or prostitutes are a product of capitalism. It's because in the main, uh, the selling of sex itself, it dehumanizes both the buyer and the seller. Uh, this, this, this is why I'm saying uh, uh, some men would condemn during the day sex workers but at night they would drive to where they can get the sex workers so sex then becomes a commodity any commodity must have a buyer and any commodity, uh, 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 its price is determined by demand. Uh, uh, so, this is a product of capitalism. When we're having this discussion, when we're discussing about sex becoming a commodity under capitalism, uh, and a commodity uh, uh, or you place a value in a commodity and uh, its value is based or depends uh, on the need or on its demand then the comrades as we're having this discussion preparing uh, for the for this video uh, 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 one comrade was arguing saying but comrades wait a minute uh, in the main men buy sex and we're saying but the comrade can you elaborate uh, uh, want to understand what you mean uh, 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 says uh, well of course women as well but uh, in the men were saying men buy sex was saying when you go out for a date uh, you take a woman to a restaurant uh, 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 you buy gifts and so forth and so forth uh, 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 at the end you have sex and was saying you do not pay direct but you pay indirect uh, saying some men pay rent for their girlfriends whom others call them side chicks and uh, this comrade was holding this view that everyone pays for sex and they say is the only difference is that uh, you have some in our society, women called sex workers, who are open. I remember when, when we were having this discussion with comrades uh, in the trade union movement, I think it was Cosato, we were mobilizing uh, uh, workers, uh, uh, talking about strategies of mobilizing sex workers who are always victims of their clients <clears throat> and, and I was saying but the comrades uh, when I walk around in the street uh, in Johannesburg uh, uh, I pass there some of the streets and uh, uh, women would be simple sitting uh, naked uh, you will see their sex organs why and uh, this comrade was saying how do you sell a product <laughs> which uh, <laughs> <laughs> people don't see they were saying, they were saying but Comrade Mapena you go and do window shopping at Edgar's well I don't know what, 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 what you think but uh, this, this, this is a discussion that, uh, that we're having but uh, 
because we're under a capitalist society, what we need to do is to decriminalize a, a, what they call prostitution. We must criminalize a prostitution and organize everyone in this business and treat them as workers. Decriminalizing a prostitution and the passing strong laws against the human trafficking. I was watching a video, I think it was posted in our study group by one comrade in Zim. I think it was, it was a video about a Kenyan politician uh, who was um, showing on his phone a, a woman recruited in Africa working in Saudi Arabia was now forced to breastfeed dogs. This is criminal. There are men also women in Africa that are recruited to go and work in Saudi Arabia and in those countries. The stories that we are getting is that uh, some women are used uh, as, 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 uh, pro to provide training to young boys on how to have a sex with a woman. They are kept as sex slaves in Saudi Arabia and in those countries in the Gulf. And uh, this is criminal. Women are recruited in Africa on the pretext that uh, they will be going to work as domestic workers. When they get there in Yemen, in Saudi Arabia, and in some of these countries, their passports are withdrawn from them. They are put as sex slaves. Then in these young boys uh, will be using these women to ex experiment on how to have sex with a woman. This is criminal. So, in search for criminal pastures, we must avoid sending our sisters uh, to some of these countries where they are told they will be working as domestic workers. Because there are horrible stories that are coming out from uh, those countries. So this is why it's critical that uh, uh, we decriminalize uh, prostitution. We pass strong laws against the human trafficking and enforce the prostitution. It's a choice. If, if, if a, a woman <coughs> a, a, or a man let me deal with the question of men. I remember some years back, I think it was around 2000, 2002. So one of my friends, whom I will not name, uh, was not working. You know, he used to, he likes gymming. I Me, mean, I'm not really uh, for the gym, but I should be joining the gym soon. So, so this friend of mine, uh, 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 lacks exercising as a, a body of a person that uh, lifts those uh, weights every day. We go there in the gym. Uh, and he then applied for a job in Horton, Johannesburg. Uh, he was called for an interview. So when he got to the place where he was called for an interview, I can't remember how this job was advertised, whether it was a general job, but in what tone, what the advert was, I can't recall. So my friend goes to the interview on the pretext that he has found a job. I think was thinking that he was going to work as a driver or something. 
but but when you got there, he was being recruited to be a male prostitute or a male sex worker. Uh, 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 my friend, <laughs> then, <laughs> then he declined the offer. So it prompted us to then have this discussion with, to say, but uh, uh, are there male sex workers? So it was at that point, it was around 2000, 2002, that we then came to know that indeed there are male sex workers. Because uh, what we see in the streets, you go to Hebrew Summit, you go in the street in Central Johannesburg, you find women parading themselves, you go to Nikeas parading themselves. But the women uh, 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 in the upper the, of the women in the upper class, business women, uh, possibly your politicians, uh, those who are high earners. Uh, uh, require the services of men. Some women require, I, want, I don't want to be misquoted, some women require the services of men. Uh, they will not want to have a boyfriend. They are too busy to have a boyfriend to maintain a relationship. They are too busy to have what we today call Benten. Uh, they are too busy running their companies, their professionals, uh, and so forth. Uh, uh, so they want just to get to uh, this high uh, club where there are sex workers for them to be serviced, to have sex, pay a, a guy, and then they simply go and continue with their lives. They don't want to be attached to any man. So when they want the sex, they go to this club in Horton. I don't know where it is located, so don't ask me uh, about this location because, like I'm saying, I we we discovered only in 2000, 2000 and between 2000 2002. I can't remember when, when when my friend went there for an interview. So it is not only women that are involved in sex work. <clears throat> it is also men that time involved in sex work. Only that, the difference is that women, uh, uh, working class women, uh, uh, will not uh, uh, pay a man for sex. Right? Uh, and and uh, because of the economic condition, a, a working class wom woman or women would want to be maintained, right? You are working as a domestic worker, you are working as a teacher, uh, uh, you, you cannot afford to pay a man to have sex with, you want to have some kind of a relationship, right? Uh, 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 well, some do have multiple partners, uh, uh, you want to have sex, right? But those in the higher, uh, 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 in the upper class, if I were to use the upper class, or your bourgeois women, or bourgeois women, they, they then create their own club in a secluded area, like Wotton, Santin, where they go to a club and pay for sex. And there are these young men, uh, uh, who are recruited as sex workers. So it therefore means <coughs> that uh, those in the lower class, in the working class, uh, uh, sex workers, do so to maintain their families. Uh, they are trained from work uh, they've given up looking for a job and then they use the sex as a commodity to sell. Because uh, uh, they are using sex as a commodity, 
they are then available like your hustlers, hustlers uh, your pickpockets uh, <coughs> your criminals to be used by reactionary forces they are used by those that push drugs they do not participate in any revolutionary activity you cannot depend on them as a class for revolutionary work uh, I see on social media many people celebrating uh, being hustlers yeah, someone said no I'm a hustler I'm hustling A hustler by their nature, they are Lumbian proletariat. And they, can, they are valuable to anyone who has money. You will not depend for a revolutionary work or revolutionary activity to a hustler. So, as, as I'm moving to conclusion, <coughs> The, the women in the uh, uh, working class communities get engaged in sexual, sexual work to maintain their families. And they must be protected. Legislation must be passed. Uh, 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 and as I've said earlier on, also make it easier for them uh, to control diseases, sexual transmitted diseases. I, th I think uh, someone was telling me, I've never been to Europe, <laughs> so I hope someone will then uh, feel pity for me that Copenhagen, my parents, I've never traveled to Europe. Okay, I will invite you. Uh, so I'll wait for the invitation. So I've never been to Europe. So when we're having this discussion some time back again, uh, this person, is a pastor by the way, so I will not name him. Says, uh, I think it was the uh, Netherlands. <coughs> They've built uh, this area, a nice area, uh, where sex workers reside. So you are a man, you go there to buy the product, to buy sex. A uh, uh, I'm told, like I'm saying, I've never been there. Uh, 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 people do not sit in the streets like we see Andy Street in Johannesburg. If you know Central Johannesburg, you are familiar with Andy, and you are familiar with Andy Street, you'll know what I'm talking about. They don't sit in the streets. <coughs> they are housed in some kind of hotel. And you go there for services to buy a product, sex. And this is what should happen. Uh, because when sex workers are in the streets, uh, I've seen <coughs> vehicles will get to end the street. They'll pick up a woman. And when a woman is picked, put in a vehicle, a sex worker, uh, uh, because once you are inside a vehicle, the person that controls the vehicle is the driver. You can then be driven to some area where you are now isolated from others. And this exposes you to a danger of being murdered, like the six bodies or seven that were discovered in some building in Johannesburg. So we need to have <coughs> to improve their working conditions. So improving their working conditions, it means Government must invest in renovating some buildings. You know there are some buildings that are hijacked in central Johannesburg, uh, uh, um, I know in Arare avenues, uh, uh, avenues area, you have uh, sex workers operating there. And also they are operating many of them in the streets of Arare. Uh, sex workers, I think around Evelyn, that is a bit dark Evelyn High School, if you know that area in Bulawayo. 
Yeah, dog, a Harare road in that area. <coughs> Sex workers operate from there. And that is, uh, they, they will then stand in the streets stopping vehicles. Uh, 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 it's dangerous. So, governments must invest in some buildings. And they have a building uh, uh, that is known, that is, is a building for sex workers. So that uh, when you want to buy sex, you get to the security, you register. It is known who is going to provide services. And they should make sure that when you leave, one, you'll have paid for what you bought and that the worker was not harmed. Because in the dark, when sex workers stand in the streets, they get into a vehicle or they are taken to some other places. Their clients dump them without paying. They abuse them. And some clients then refuse to use condoms. then it becomes unsafe sex which leads to sexually transmitted diseases. Now was in the Missouri church in your son, the other time I've been a promoter my coach. But that's a reality. <clears throat> that, that's a reality. So it is important that uh, governments should invest take over some buildings which are hijacked or which are not used, uh, turn them into hotels for sex workers, where sex workers have their rooms. You don't have to do sex in the car, in some parking lot where once done, someone pushes you out of their door, they drive away. No. Because if it is in a building, a hotel building of some sort, and the client then decides not to pay, the client will be dealt with by the security. So, so as, as I've said, uh, uh, comrades, uh, 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 is that uh, prostitution, I'm returning to this term as I'm computing, is a product of capitalism. Sex becomes a product, and any product, they must be value, and the value is determined by demand. You can pay in Rose Bank maybe two hundred rand, in Hebrew might pay fifty rand. Determined by demand, the location, and so forth. But sex itself, right? Because see, <clears throat> every human being, remember uh, Yvonne Chaga Chaga, our African uh, princess, uh, uh, sang this song, um, Every Woman Needs a Man. Uh, 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 uh. And when we talk about the needs of a human being, a human being must have clothing. These are the basic needs of a human being. Clothing, food, water. I've got my glass of water here. I constantly drink water. Housing, jobs, access to medical facility, quality education. These are the needs of a human being and sex. And I'm talking about adults. Right in church, uh, 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 I don't want to go against the church. Uh, sex is for married people. I've seen in case that and uh, uh, His Majesty uh, encouraging girls uh, and the boys, young people, not to 
engage in sexual activities outside marriage and the people are then encouraged to get married then you uh, 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 participate uh, or, or get engaged in sexual activity in marriage good fine this is very correct but the bottom line is sexual intercourse is one of the human needs right uh, uh, it is for pleasure it should not be sold to anyone because male and female should engage in sexual activity right it should not be a product it's for pleasure your body needs it is it is one of your your needs as a human being sex you are a woman you are a man you must have sex and it's for pleasure and I've underlined that you must get married, right? I don't want to be in conflict with anyone with the cult. Uh, uh, <coughs> uh, traditionally, does a guy have cited KZN and the church? No. You must get married and uh, enjoy your sexual life as one of your human needs. It should not be a product but capitalism has reduced it into a product and as, as i have said that uh, now that it has been reduced into a product now people pay for sex not only men that pay for sex women pay for sex Please share your views, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and please circulate. Otherwise, I'm under comrades.